Oh, and we're feeling that, Britt. I can tell you the rain is pelting down. We're just seeing the wind, you know, whip those flags behind us here. We're feeling it push against the cars here. And it's really, you know, intensified in the last 10 minutes or so, I want to say. I know we've seen reports of wind gusts about 60 miles per hour or so. And we're just looking at the night sky light up as we see those lightning strikes every couple of seconds here, followed by that roaring thunder. I mean, Jackson, Mississippi is, is essentially sitting in what could be, you know, that severe storm threat, that main event here that we've been waiting for throughout the morning. And of course, it's not a comforting sight for the many who live here who are now really dealing with the third threat in the last three weeks for their communities, for their neighborhoods. I mean, again, this is a situation where they've been on edge knowing that these storms could possibly bring uh, some devastation to their loved ones, to their homes, to their neighborhoods here. And really, you think about the last month or so, already 49 tornadoes in the state of Mississippi alone. But it's not just Mississippi. We're looking across the south here. Alabama has seen some torrential rain in those areas. We're even seeing reports of hail throughout the south. And so really, as this storm continues to push through today, it's likely that the effects that we're seeing here will continue on in states like Alabama, Georgia, even the Carolinas. So it's another day of uncertainty, another day of unfortunately uh, potential for for damage, tornadoes, danger. I mean, you really just got to make sure, Britta, like you said, that you've got that uh, emergency plan in place and you know when it's time to activate it, when it's time to get down, because when you're looking at conditions like this, it's not really safe at this point to be trying to get to that safe space. You want to already be there. You want to already have your loved ones, have your emergency alerts on your phone charged, and make sure that you're prepared uh, as this moves through. Again, Britta, we're going to be in the dark here for at least another hour or so, so that adds another layer to the danger here. We want to make sure that people are paying close attention to this one, even as we remain in the dark this morning. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.